when the machine's first powered up, you'll have a fault. If you hold up fault active, it shows you the faults there. You have emergency stop. So twist and release, emergency stop. Press reset, resets the faults. Exit that screen, takes you to the main operating screen. We have the shot modes, operator control, or metered shot. You'll also have an option on the shot counter for metered shot to do multiple shots. And then you have an anti-gel timer purge facility. You can switch on and off and have a timer on there. If you have agitation, the agitation buttons are also on the HMI screen. And then there's other options on there for setting parameters on the buttons on the top. Um, setting service lights and a manual dispense button on there as well, which does the same job as the trigger or the foot pedal. On the controls on the bottom, you have a mach machine on and off switch. You can switch it on, you're then able to dispense via the foot pedal or the trigger. Um, you have a, a buzzer if there's any faults, or when it does anti gel, it also buzzes to warn you. And then you also have a fault lamp, which comes on when the fault active banner is on. So if you press emergency stop, it will stop all functions of the machine. It will stop the agitation. It will stop any heat going into the heating systems. Um, it will also dump the air to the machine. And it will show up on the, the screen. The heating is controlled by a set of controllers. You can isolate the circuits if necessary. And you can also change the temperature via the up and down buttons. The green display is the temperature it's set to. The red display is the temperature that the heating element is reading. Um, on the top, you have dispense pressure which is the speed of the, the material coming out of the machine. It can go up to a maximum of five and a half bar and depending on the material being dispensed and the pump sizes is how low you can go. It's generally about two bar. So the shot size is controlled by the proximity sensors on here. The vest sensor that's a return sensor. So if you want to make a shot size smaller, you can adjust the dial on the left hand side of the machine and it brings the return sensor closer, making your shot size smaller. And you have a dial indicator on the side, which is a reference point, doesn't relate to grams or cc's it will give you a set reference point to give repeatability. So when we load the material in, we need to bleed the air out of the system. So we raise the hose up so the outlet is at the highest point. So the next stage, we need to set the synchronization or the phasing of the pumps. So both materials come out at exactly the same time, rather than A in front of B or B in front of A. So what we do, we take the gun closed signal off. So the mixer valve will open, it will let the material come out and it doesn't affect the starts of the machine. You can see when the pumps start pumping, rather than where the mixer valve opens. So we take the signal off, Blank it off and then have the machine on operator control with this dispense pressure quite low and just dispense into a cup and you see one of the materials comes out before the other. We have the B side dispensing first. So what we need to do Take the centre guard off 
and you need to adjust the fires in on the piston rods. So we need to adjust the B side so it comes out later than it is now. So we wind the piston rod into the yoke by a small amount. The materials are coming out at the same time now. We fit the ratio check adapter on the end of the outlet block, makes it easy to put into cups. One side into one cup, one's the other, and then dispense a full shot. And you can take the, the, the weight of one component to the other and work out the ratio. So when you're ready to dispense, you can push the mixer nozzle on, put the shroud. Make sure the shroud's done up tight, then switch the machine on, and then we bleed the mixer uphill to get rid of any air out of the system, out of the mixer. And then we're ready to start fencing.